The UFC returns to London this Saturday night live on Virgin Media Television. And we've got one of the most exciting Irish fighters around to making her UFC debut. Sean Bannon, it's great to talk to you. Thanks so much for having me. We're bang in the middle of your first ever UFC fight week. How are you feeling? Oh, do you know what? Like, we got here yesterday and just, it's just so professional. Everything runs so smooth. Everyone's just so friendly. It's just good vibes all around, really. It's unreal. I've been enjoying following your social media. I was watch, uh, watching your clothes haul uh, that you got off to UFC earlier on. Getting, <laughs> getting Had a little dance and all at the end. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. oh, the flag was upside down the lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you just enjoying every minute of that? Yeah, do you know what? Like, it's a huge milestone in my career. Like, it really is. And to be here, it, like, I think it only hit me about two weeks ago. I was like, because I was just so focused and camp focusing on training. And then I was over in Liverpool with Molly and the UFC were there and they'd done a bit of media work with me. And I think it was only then that kind of hit me that this was actually a thing. Do you know what I mean? And um, so, yeah, no, I'm super grateful taking it all in and enjoying every second. Yeah, and it's the result of what, 25 years hard work and martial arts background. Um, I know like you're, you've got a great family kind of legacy in Tala, your dad and your sister and stuff like that. But your your MMA uh, rise has been incredible. Like you only turned pro in April last year and like now you're in UFC. And um, what's that kind of fast rise been like? I know you had an amateur career before that, but it's been a bit whirlwind, hasn't it? Yeah, no, 100%. Um, but that's the way I like to, I like to keep going. Like, if you ask Paddy, like, I'm on his case. If I don't have a fight book, I nearly want to have two fights booked back to back. I just want to go, go, go. And especially, like, because I had a period of time off when I was pregnant. So I kind of felt like I had to catch up on last time, even though nothing was happening then because we were in lockdown. But in my head, I'm like, I need to catch up. I need to catch up. And I want to be active and I want fights and I want to be getting them challenges and put under pressure and, that's how I like it. You know what I mean? Me sitting back and relaxing is, um, I, I can't do that. <laughs> I just, I like to know what's next and I want to know how I can develop and how I can become further. And I just want to get there to be UFC champ. I know I'm not in any rush to get there now. I'm in the UFC now and I will take a fight by fight, but I'm sure that that will happen fast too. Yeah. You mentioned the time you were pregnant there. Like you've got your two-year-old son, Jace, you know, it's like a massive part of your inspiration and stuff like that. But like even, like he's only two and you're always you'd be forgiven for like slowing down a little bit when you went pro like given that you've had chase but it's all it's almost like it's made you more driven to succeed yeah no i've had 10 fights since he was born and um, so yeah i've been pretty active i got straight back in and uh there was no stop I, I didn't stop training while i was pregnant i kept that going the whole way like the day before i gave birth i was in my dad's kickboxing gym kicking and punching a bag so like i didn't stop i was ready to go i was back training after three weeks and i was looking for fights to be booked i wasn't even able to get medicals cleared i had to go to different doctors and pretend that i didn't have a kid i was doing whatever it was to get back in there and uh get going Obviously, it's a huge night for your family. It's available. Will Jace be there on Saturday? Is he traveling to London or will you watch at home? So he's coming to London. He's uh, arriving on Thursday. Um, so he'll be at the face offs and stuff, but he won't be at the actual fight itself. I think he's just still a little bit too young for that. Um, he was at one of my fights, my last amateur fight. He was at that. Um, but yeah, it's just a bit much on. It's it's overwhelming and there's a lot going on. So I'd say in another year or so he'll be he'd be good to go. But he'll be at the the face off and I'll get to see him before me fight. So um that'll be special because he's I was on FaceTime to him last night and he's like, Mama, come home, I miss you. And so that's tough, but it's all for him. And this this, this is an opportunity for me to change my life and my family's life and most importantly, Jason's life, you know. So um it's all for him and I hopefully hope one day he looks back and understands that yeah and like finding in london like he's able to travel over even even for the, the face off and stuff like that it's finding in london almost the perfect scenario to make your debut like you're so close to home people can go um like you, i'm guessing you'll have plenty of support from tala and <laughs> in around the rest of dublin over there yeah like i have the most amazing fans ever like my friends and family and then the fans on top of that that support um, anyone who's been to any of my fights in Dublin they know like I bring a, an army an army of guys with me um, so like I'm super grateful there's loads coming over and then the rest that aren't coming over they'll be in the forge to watch um, so it's it's super exciting and I'm, I'm just buzzing um, I was chatting to Molly earlier actually um, I had a good chat with her and we half of the conversation we spoke about you because you've been training with her and stuff like that and um, 
she was singing her praises and she was also laughing because she was looking, thinking back to her UFC debut week. And she, she said, uh, she said, it's like you're, you're drinking triple shot espresso every time she sees you, you're just bouncing around the place. And um, what, what's it been like? Um, I know you know her quite a long time. But what's it been like training for for this particular fight? It's really good because like most of the times when I've been over training with her, we've both been at different stages of camp. So like, she'd be a few weeks ahead of me or I'd be a few he- weeks ahead of her. Whereas like our last bar last like two weeks ago, we were both at our peak and we literally had a knock. Do you know what I mean? And we're both in the same energy, the same mindset because we're peaking at the same time. We're going through everything at the same time. The cut and the weight that it's all the same. And like, she's texting me constantly like, this is this, this is this, Do you know? Cause like, it's a different promotion for me. It's not the same as what it was with Invicta. So there's different rules, there's different things that happen. And, She's guiding me through all that and reassuring me and just let me know what's going on. So it's great to have her there. Yeah, she said um, she wasn't calling us far now. She said you was having a straightener. <laughs> Literally, we do have a knock. That's yeah. what it is. It's, the, it's like... The last one, we just, fight. we almost just hugged each other and start crying. The, the last one before, like, to, to kind of, kind of went, start winding down. Yeah, yeah. Now, after the fight, like, that was the, the day that the whole UFC were there and it kind of just clicked with me. I was like... This is happening, do you know what I mean? And we just had a little moment and the two of us were hugging each other, crying, and it was like, let's fucking do this. Like, let's go and show the world. Yeah. Um, she's like the guy she's had in the UFC, obviously she lost last week, but she had three wins in a row before that. She's just become a role model in Liverpool and the rest of the UK. Um, and I was chatting to her about that. But like, how does the term role model sit with you? Obviously, you're on such a, a worldwide platform now. Is it something that you can carry easy or does it add a bit of pressure? Um, being on this big step next big stage, like this the biggest stage of all, really. Yeah, like it's the biggest promotion in the world for MMA and it obviously is a step up and yeah, there is more pressure. Like I feel like I have to, I'm so lucky and grateful that the whole country is supporting me. Um, but that obviously adds more pressure because literally all the eyes that are on me, like everywhere I go, people are wishing me luck and congratulating me. And it is, there obviously is pressure, but I think I deal pretty well with that. Like I've had pressure my whole life with kickboxing. I was always, because my dad was the coach and, I always won the titles. It was assumed that I'd always win then. So th- I've always kind of dealt with that pressure. But my confidence going into the fight is based off my preparations. And I never leave anything, like no stone unturned. I prepare in every way possible. And I do everything I have to do. So that gives me confidence going into the cage. So that that's what reassures me, you know. Yeah. We have talked your, about your opponent a little bit, Bruno Brazil. And um, What type of fight you expect on Saturday? She's already had a fight in the UFC. She lost and she was also part of the Contender Series. But what are you expecting on Saturday? Style-wise, it looks like a good matchup. Yeah, like I'm really happy with the matchup. I think like she kind of has that point fight and karate style. She's very side on. And that's obviously a style that I've dealt with in my whole entire life um, with kickboxing being my background. Um, her wrestling and grappling, in my opinion, are just average. Um, I would consider myself a better wrestler and grappler than her and striker. So wherever the fight goes, I'm confident. Um, she's obviously a game opponent and she's in the UFC. There's no easy fights in the UFC, but I do believe that I'm better than her and I don't see it go but any other way. I reckon I'm going to finish her in the second round. And obviously, like we mentioned, Molly in the build-up, but obviously your main coach, Paddy Houlihan, he's walked and talked the UFC before. How beneficial is it to have Paddy in your corner, someone who's been here and done that, and can, you can kind of just feed back on everything about? Oh, it's, do you know what? I couldn't ask for a better, better person in my corner. He's guided me through everything to this stage in my career, and he hasn't been wrong in anything he said, you know? Um, he looks after me inside and outside the cage. He genuinely cares, and I think that's, very very important because you really need to have trust in someone that's coaching you especially when it's such an important fight like it is it's going to be on Saturday night and um, so I'm super grateful for him and Chelsea the two of them might be be lost without them they're an amazing team and I'm so grateful to have them as part of my team and then finally um, obviously you're making your debut on Saturday Ian Gary's doing great things at the UFC at the moment and it's just confirmed with the UFC earlier Reese McKee is back he's going to Paris in September um, and yeah. It's a little bit of a second wave of Irish takeover. No, back in 2014 and 2015, we had that first Irish takeover. And um, we even chatting to Molly earlier. Um, all goes well with you Saturday. And I know she's she talks about her Irish links all the time. She's very proud of them. Will, is it time for another UFC Dublin event next year? I think so. It'd be the 10 year anniversary next year, so it just makes sense, really, doesn't it? Bring it back to Dublin and put on a show like there's Connor Reese, Gary, me. Molly, we will we'll consider her as the fifth Irish. And um, I think there's a good few more that's just about to get signed as well, you know. So it's uh, it would make sense. 
and the, the tree ring is a pretty special place for fighting, isn't it? Like a Bellator I've been here a lot last year. The UFC had that amazing night, as you say, 10 years ago almost. It's an amazing venue, isn't it? Oh, unreal. Like I was only at a boxing event there the other night and I just, like, I'd love to fight there. It'd be uh, a dream come true. So it's definitely something that's on the list. Brilliant. Well, Sean, best luck on Saturday. Don't forget, you can watch Sean's debut at UFC London this Saturday live on Virgin Media Television. Best of luck and enjoy the rest of the week. Thank you so much. Thank you.